Taylor, raise your right hand. All right, Lucian Pappas. <clears throat> Next, we have uh, American Institute of Architect student, Architecture Students. Uh, I move that we take uh, 450, uh, 455 dollars out of student development. Um, they have a South Quad conference um, October 17th. 21 students attending. Um, this is a great uh, opportunity for them. Uh, the conference registration is 50 per student, which is $1,050. Travel expenses, uh, $1,560, as well as car expenses. Um, 315 of that, 30% uh, of the SOP uh, is $315. Basically, we're all meeting to improve my SOP if anybody's wondering. And that is online. Um, and 140, which is 35% of travel, in the total of 455 <coughs> We have a representative from the American Institute of Architects. So, do you want to add to anything? Um, what would you like to know? I mean, what do I have to just, just tell us a little bit things? more of what you are doing at the conference? And <clears throat> um, well, it's actually an opportunity for uh, the AIS to represent SPSU among many other colleges in the southeast. And um, actually, we compete every, uh, every time there's a conference, we actually compete in a design charrette. And the last two years, we've had a student on the winning team um, for each time. So uh, actually, if a student wins, uh, we are nationally recognized. Uh, SPSU as a university is nationally recognized uh, through our AIAS Nationals uh, website. So it looks really good for the um, SPSU University, um, when we have winning students. Um, I mean, otherwise, we participate just by kind of showing our, know, showing our name while we're there. Any discussions? Um, why did we decide to not fund up to $1,000 for the registration? I fund the what? For the registration. Did you see the registration? Why are we, why are we only funding up to a? I mean, oh, it wasn't worth it. Is it right here? Three hundred. Oh, uh, we. Uh, my bad. Sorry. Wait, what was your question? We're only funding thirty percent of the registration. Right. Yeah. Well, SOP is travel thirty percent. Yeah, the conference is too. Conference registration fees could be up to a thousand. We can't find more. I mean, that's if anybody else. We had committee meetings in this one. Okay, and what was the what was the reasoning? We decided on giving this one a little, so we have to give you a distributor. Have seven thousand in the budget, <coughs> but we have about forty thousand. Uh, might be what's it called? Another going to the student center. Would you like to table something else? I'm all right. I was just putting in a question. All right. Any other discussions? All right, let's take a vote. For those in favor, raise your right hand. All right, motion passes. All right, next we have uh, Associated General Contractors. Um, they have a uh, Fall Leadership Conference October 17th to, to the 20th. Uh, number of students attending is four. Is anybody here to represent them? Anyone from the Associate General Contractors here? Okay, so um, basically travel expenses uh, on here for 150 for the gas, um, two rooms uh, for 1668, 
and four students are attending <coughs> 250 apiece. Any discussions? Uh, I'll make a motion to move 840 out of student development to ABC. <coughs> Second. Second. Any discussion? Uh, is there any discussions? Any further discussions? for a year. Uh, we were given $4,000 right now. We're only left with 866 left in our account because we've already spent through that $40,000 trying to get the car off the ground. And the registration for our competition is seven days, $1,100. And we, we don't have the money even to register right now. So um, we submitted a new request for just the registration money for right now of uh, $2,100. So. Um, Basically, without that money, we won't even be able to go to competition, much less have a car com to compete. What kind of uh, fundraising have you done? Uh, we do a lot of fundraising. Most of it's through our sponsors. We go out and seek our own sponsors uh, separate from the school. Last year, as far as uh, sponsorship goes, they, they don't give us a lot of like monetary donations. I want to say uh, SA gave us $1,000. But most of what they do is they'll donate parts and uh, time and services for the car. Uh, totaled up, it was about $15,000 worth of donations last year from sponsors. That's strictly parts toward the car, not necessarily uh, money. What is your alumni advisory board? What? When is the alumni advisory board meeting? Uh, we submitted a request two days ago. And then we have presentations on the 21st, and then they allot us money on November 1st, I believe. But like I said, our, our registration for a competition is in seven days, long before we'll get any money from alumni. So when are you gonna need all this, basically all the money for the, for the car? For the car? Yeah. Uh, as it comes along, as we build it, uh, the $16,000, honestly, we're, we're looking at trying to be able to have the car done before December, so that's, we're going to more be limited by budget than how fast we can produce the car. <coughs> how much are you guys short for this conference right now? This for this the conference, um, in SGA account, we have $866. The registration is $2,100.
fifteen hundred dollars. All right, so that's just going to change the original motion thirteen hundred. So this will put us in. Or the, right now, we can discuss the amendment or if you're ready to vote on it. So is there any discussion on the amendment? So you did the thirteen hundred because so they have the actual motion. start seeing us be a little stingy with our money this semester, it's because of two different things. Um, last year, by February, we were completely out of money, and I really don't want that to happen again this year. Um, so we're really trying to be conservative with our money. Um, if organizations really need it, we'll tend to be more liberal, especially if they've done fundraising. So that's one of the reasons. And then another reason is um, basically the student center this year was undercut in their budget. So we will have to actually give some of our student development fund to the student center in order to keep operations going, um, which will be upwards of $40,000. So if you start seeing us be stingy with our money this semester, that is why. Um, we don't want to see the student center get closed, and I know none of you guys do as well. So, um, you know, be, be considerate of that whenever you guys do actually request money from SGA because that's something that we're going to have to fund this semester, whether we like it or not. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out there. Thank you, Austin. Any announcements from our advisors? Um, the Madness at the Nest, which used to be called Midnight Madness, um, is tomorrow, October 2nd. Um, and so that's the first time that the basketball team will actually be able to be um, actually practice and sort of be on display. So come out and support the the running hornets and the cheerleaders. All right. Um, yeah. I also have one more thing. Um, as students, we love you guys' input. So I'm also going to throw this out there. There have been talks about um, increasing the recreation wellness fee to basically uh, double the size of the rec center. Um, it wouldn't. Basically, the rec, the rec center is, is undercut in size by a tremendous amount. There's not enough space for the amount of students that we have. Um, so it's just in preliminary talks. There's nothing that's set in stone at all. But um, we will be having, we'll, we'll more than likely be having either um, Dr. Priggy or Carl Staber come into one of our meetings to discuss a fee increase with us as well as um, general students. So I'll be letting you guys know what meeting that'll be in. And we really love student input, so if you guys would definitely come to that meeting and give your input and hear what they have to say on why you know the rec center fee needs to be increased. So, that's all right. Thank you. What else? All right, it is adjourned at twelve twenty-one.